Hello, welcome to part 3 of this memory game in MIT App Inventor. So, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we will finish the whole memory game. We will put score, points and we will show if they are winner or loser and do many things like that. Yes, so now we are going to bring, if you didn't see part 1 and part 2, Please seek so that you will understand the blocks which we did before and the designer. And you also need to see it because to know the idea of the app. So now I'm going to bring an horizontal arrangement. So in this, here they are going to type it. They will type the name of the animal. For example, cat. And then they'll open a card. If the uh, if the card which they have opened is the if is if it is the cat which they have entered in a text box, then it the score will get increased by one. So that's how our app works. So now I'm going to I have put a text box inside this. So I'm going to set this to center center. Let me set this hint to type animal yes so now i finish typing the hint let's move on to the blocks and do the score so now we also need a label to show the score so it's going to be here we will show the score so let's put score and like a colon and a space so the font size is going to be 20. Here you can see a scroll bar appears because I have put scrollable. Here if you see in the screen properties, I have put scrollable. That's why a scroll bar appears. So if you cannot see the cards which are down, then and if you don't have a scroll bar, it means that you didn't put this option. So this you need to check this option. It is very important. Yes, so now let's go to the blocks. We are going to have a variable called score. And at the first, it needs to be zero. So here also we are going to put score and zero. Yes, so now we need to do some changes here. So now let me take all these blocks. I'm going to delete all of these blocks. It's because we need to add some more things here. So I will delete this and after I add this, I'll copy and paste. Yes. Okay. So now it's going to be, I said that they will type the animal and if they click the button and if it is equal to the same animal, then the score will be one plus one. So now for that, we need an if condition. So if, how can we get, so if the variable, so in the variable, so in this variable, you can see that we are storing the file name. So for example, cat hyphen card. So now to get the animal, we need to split this. So we are going to split it using the hyphen. So after I split it using the hyphen, there will be two, two items in the list. One will be the name of the animal, for example, cat. And the other will be card.jpg. So now for splitting, we have a block here. In the text section, here you can see split text stat. So this text is going to be C1 on the, how should I split it? So I need to split it using an hyphen. So let me, hyphen, so here you can see I put split text stat hyphen. So I'm splitting C1 so that it will become, after I split it, it will give a list 
of two items. One will be the animal name and the second will be card.jpg in this variable. So now we need to get the first item. So for that we are going to select item. The list is going to be this one and the index should be 1. The index is 1 because in the first index only you can as you can see in at the first you can see the name of the animal cat cow so like that if c1 has this index if it is equal to textbox one dot text so textbox one dot text is the animal which they have typed so if it is correct which means if it is equal to textbox one dot text so here we have if I go here, here you can see textbox one dot text. Then the score will get increased by one. So I'm um, I should do like this. Set score to get score plus one. So I have brought I brought this math operation plus one. So now there's one change we need to do. Text if we just put text box one dot text and for example after we split this our string is going to be like this. This output will be like this if that animal is cat. So if in the text box one dot text if they have entered like this one C capital then it will this will not set this will not add the score which is not correct so it should not be case sensitive so what we are going to do is that so this will give an output of all the letters in small so we are going to make this down case so if you go to text here you have up case let's put it here and just change this to down case so now the what they type will be converted to down case. So for example, if they type cat C as capital, it will be converted to down case, which means that all the letters will be down case. So this C will become down case and these both will be equal. So their score will get increased. That's why we need to put this. This is very important. After that, we, we you can see that we are setting the score to score plus one. Then we are going to set this label. So this is label 7. So set label 7 dot text. To get score. So that they will be able to see their score here. But we should not just show the score. We also need to show like this. We will join. We are going to join the score. Let's put score. colon space and the score here so now after we join this you can see we need to make disable this button so they cannot click again and again and get many points for example if this button has the cat and they type cat and got it correct if they click again and again and again then it will go inside this and again it will add one point so they can cheat like then click again and again and the score will get increased to how much ever they want which is not correct so for that after they click the button they should not be able to click it again so we are going to put set label sorry set c1 dot enabled to false if it is not enabled even if they click nothing will happen so c1 dot enabled to false so here if you see in logic false. Now we need a variable. So this variable name is going to be cards turned. So first it will be zero. So we are keeping this variable so that we will know if they have turned how much cards. So if they have turned all the nine cards then the game is over and it should show the game over screen which we will make it after a little bit 
So now we will set this card's turn. Here at the last. So, so it's going to be set global card's turn to get global card's turn plus one. Plus one. Plus one. So let me put here one. So that it will get incremented. Now what I'm going to do is that let's do the same thing for C2, C3, C4 and until there's one thing we need to do. We also need to put an if condition. So if global cards turned is equal to zero. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's if it is equal to nine. So here we have equal to if the cards turn is equal to nine, which means that they have turned the cards, all the cards, all the nine cards. Then what we need to do is that we need to call a procedure. So this is the game over procedure, which we will do later. So let's call this game over procedure. We will do this later. Now what we need to do is that let's copy and paste like this for all the buttons C2 and you also need to change. So now I'm duplicating this. So this is going to be C2, C2, C2. You should not miss anything. You should change everything. Then only it will work properly. And then this one here you can see C2. Yes, that's it. So like you, I, I will do like that for all the buttons. Then you can, you can also collapse them. Now here you can see that I finished for all these buttons. C1, C2, C3 like this. So now what I'm going to do is that let's do the game over procedure. So in this game over procedure, we will, we need another screen called game over. So here you can see the game over screen. The title should not be visible. So now I'm going to go to screen one. Here I'm going to put game over. So open another screen. Here we have the open another screen block. So let's put a screen name which is game over. This one. Now when the game is over, it will open this screen. So now it needs to send the score. So how can we send it? So we can save it in tiny db and then send and get the tiny db value in this screen. And there is also another method which you can use. You can give a start value. So here if you see in this open another screen, the screen name will be game over and the start value should be score. So I think the start value method is easier so I'm going to use this. So here I'm going to get the start value which I have sent which is the score. So here I have a variable. This variable is going to be score. I will set score when it is initializing to get the start value. Now you can change the background of this. So I'm going to put center and center. Now I have a label. So this label I'm going to put game over. It's too small. So I'm going to change the font size to be 50 and font should be bold. So you can change the text color. You can also put a background of the screen. So now here I'm going to put score. And this should be 
another label here this font size should be 20 and here let me put 0 now we need to set this label which is label 3 to the to the score set label 3 dot text to get the score so here we have get global score Now we need a button to for play again to so that the user can play again. So I'm going to put this text. So if you click this button, we need to go to screen one in which the game is there. So this is button one. So when the button one is clicked, open another screen name, screen one. So now let us test our app and see if it is working. So here we can see our app. Now let me type an animal name. It's going to be cat. Now I think this card the middle card has the cat so let me click you can see my score is increased because it has the cat so i think even this card is the cat so let me put no i didn't get because this is the dog so now i think let me put lion i think this card is lion no this one no this one no is it this one no so now I'm going to, let me try lion with this one, this one and this one. So now I have only score as one because I guessed it only one time. So you can click on play again. Here you can see again the game has come and here you can type the animal name and finish. So our app is working. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share this video.